from the very first day in high school, you were drawn to each other's genuine personality and underlying character. And this is the foundation of everything you've been building today and will continue to be your bedrock. Today, you are no longer just Zach and Nikki, nor you are Modiri and Flute. Your souls become one, as do your families. May you be blessed with a loving home filled with warmth, humor, and compassion. May you create a family together that honors traditions old and new. May you be blessed with health. May life bring you wholeness of mind, body, and spirit. May you keep each other well balanced and grounded and live long that you may share many happy years together. May you be blessed with community. May you always be blessed with the awareness that you are an essential part of a circle of family and friends. May there always be within this group love, trust, support, and laughter. And may there be many future of occasions for rejoicing in their company. I'm extremely honored to be standing up here tonight in front of you all as we celebrate Zach and Nikki. I'd like to take you all on a semi-short journey through lessons my brother along with Nikki have taught me. Lesson number one, always know your competition. <laughs> Although I am Zach's younger sister, our childhood consisted of me aggressively trying to play with my older brother through things like biting, smacking his head against a marble table, <laughs> and more. Zach always knew I had the upper hand and was smart enough, with some encouragement from our mom, to know not to fight back, rather just to run away. Lesson number two, family comes first. Zach has always taught me that family comes first. Through things like visiting me in college during my sorority's dad weekend in place of our dad so I didn't feel left out, and going out of his way to ensure that I'm happy healthy and safe. Zach has mostly led by example when it comes to putting family first. Lesson number three, take care of others. This is a good one. One of my first interactions that I can remember with Nikki was definitely not one of my brightest moments. <laughs> Throwing it back to Coachella 2013, Let's say I had a little too much fun <laughs> and ended up needing some uh, medical attention. <laughs> Zach and Nikki, I'm really sorry. <laughs> I took you away from whatever DJ you were missing, but thank you for leading by example and showing me and others what it means to be there for the ones that you love, especially during the times when I need you the most. Lesson number four, what it means to be successful. I won't beat around the bush. Damn. It's hard to compete with a degree from UCLA, a degree from Berkeley, and two wildly successful technology careers. Zach and Nikki set the bar extremely high when it came to educational and professional success. Outside of these successes, Zach and Nikki demonstrate that living a full life is not only tied to financial and professional success. I'm inspired by Zach and Nikki's success when it comes to the amount of lifelong friendships they have, love they have for the community, and continuous curiosity to learn and grow. Lesson number five, love long and love hard. One thing I really admire about my brother is that he jumps all in to whatever he is passionate about. Zach's love for Nikki is all in, and over the years, a lot of years, I mean, come on, it took a minute to get us here, you know, we're here. I have learned what it means to love someone with your whole heart, no matter the time, the place, the circumstance. Zach and Nikki, 
Thank you for leading by example when it comes to showing commitment to a partner and the importance of being the best version of yourself for one another. Congratulations on the next chapter in your story. I love you both so much, and I know your future will be filled with Baskin Robbins ice cream, endless laughter, snuggles from Mason, and fingers crossed, some babies! Because we all know I'm gonna be a really funny one. <laughs> I'm extremely grateful to know and love you both. Thank you for always being in my corner, even from a different state. you have been my very best friend. For those who don't know, the Folds moved next door to us when Zach and I were in sixth grade. It started as a simple family friendship, later graduated into us being inseparable. The number of Mr. Brightside plays on rides to and from A. Wright Middle School, quantity of Quizno zesty girl sauce consumed, count of garage door dents and roller hockey pucks lost in the bushes, oranges thrown into our next door neighbor's pool, prospective guests attending a failed house party in Mont Calabasas, Fantasy basketball wins over Michael Norton. Mosquito bites from a terrible night's sleep on the trampoline in the backyard. APUS history answers memorized. Number of hellos received at Big Jim's Mormon birthday celebration. And slightly insensitive songs written by Tomato Basil Conspiracy. These are the best quantifiers of our friendship. And for those who know us best, quantifying our friendship via Quiznos condiments isn't strange at all, because Zach and I are strange. But that's what I love about our relationship. With almost everyone you meet, there's a question of how you might be perceived if you blurt something out without thinking, a worry that you might ask a stupid question, not look your best, or that some out-of-the-box business idea like a stick of gum sharing business slash dating introduction app won't land. But not with Zach. With Zach, I can unabashedly be myself and know that as weird as I am, Zach is just as weird if not weirder. The year is 2007, and Zach and I are sitting left of center in 10th grade physiology class. Zach was always a star student, despite the aforementioned AP US history answer debacle, and he took the physiology no differently. That is, until a tap on the shoulder from someone at the lab table behind us stole his attention. It was then that he would first lay eyes on his future wife. While we were supposed to be learning from a renowned physiology teacher, he was too busy thinking about the girl behind us, who was so much cooler than we were back then, and still is today, despite no longer having a purple streak in her hair. I have no idea what drew Nikki to the slightly nerdy, curly-haired, lanky dude in front of her, but whatever the reason, I'm forever grateful. It's not often that you have 10 plus years to vet your best friend's future wife, nor is it common to have an opportunity to attend prom together. I feel so fortunate to call Nikki a close friend of mine and not simply my best friend's partner. Like Zach, Nikki is kind, incredibly thoughtful, crazy smart, and passionate about what she does and who she loves. She's the most driven person I know, and I cannot pick more perfect partners to build the life of their dreams together. So it better be in LA and not San Francisco. So please join me in raising a glass to the new Mr. and Mrs. Fold. We love you guys. Cheers.
Nikki, I've often talked about our relationship as chapters within a book, pages filled with stories, adventures, and the highs and lows of 10 years of togetherness. Our college years fill the earliest chapters, while San Francisco, our love for Mason, and our move to LA characterize the most recent. Today I stand beside you, not to start a new page or chapter, but rather a new book. As I reflect on the past decade together, and I think ahead to the potential words that will fill our next chapters, I thought it would make sense to receive guidance from the world around us. First, no Persian wedding would be complete without referencing Rumi, a 13th century Persian poet and scholar. R R Rumi beautifully wrote the following, in your light, I learned how to love. You dance inside my chest where no one sees you, but sometimes I do, and that sight becomes this art. Nikki, in your light, in your beauty, I have learned how to love and how to be loved. You have taught me what it means to be a good friend and an even better partner. Your love for your family, your friends, and Mason is nothing short of incomparable. Most importantly, you have taught me how to be myself, step outside of my comfort zone, and be okay showing a little emotion. As Rumi said, you dance inside my chest, and today I'm proud to show that to our love to, to our, love to our friends and family. Next, no Nicki Modiri wedding would be complete without mentioning Incubus. Yes, Incubus the band. <laughs> For those listening, Nicki has a fervent obsession with Incubus and has pulled me to more shows than I can count over the past 10 years. During the chorus of a song called Black Heart Inertia, the lean singer proclaims, you're a mountain that I like to climb, not to conquer, but to share in the view. Like climbing a mountain, or realistically building a home together, raising an eventual family, or even just picking what to eat for dinner, <laughs> this relationship has not always been easy, but through the trials and tribulations comes our strength and resilience. Whatever life may throw at us, there's nobody else I'd want to share in the view with. You've embraced my quirks, my oddities, crass sense of humor, while establishing a relationship built on trust, independence, and generosity. Well, I can only guess what the future will bring. My bet is on us, our family, our home, our life together. And today is page one. I wanted to end this with how we began our engagement using the same words I said when I asked for your hand in marriage. My dad used to always say, we love you, we cherish you, and we are proud of you. We are glad God gave you to us. Nikki, I promise to love you, to cherish you, and always be proud of you. Let's write our story together. I love you. If you would have asked me 10 years ago if we'd be standing here today, my answer would have been hell no. <laughs> Zach, I have to admit, I had a bit of writer's block when sitting down to write my vows. The task seemed very daunting. How could I possibly express in a few short minutes the magnitude of what you and our nearly 10-year relationship mean to me? That's right, people. Zach waited nearly nine years to propose to me. This is just one example of how patient I am with this man. <laughs> how could I do justice to the long distance college years and the starting to work in the real world years and the globe trotting San Francisco years and the breakup and makeup year and the very best time of our lives, Mason years and all the very joyous and difficult years in between. We've been together all our adult lives, and as you remind me from time to time, I've been in your life longer than your dad was, and I don't take that lightly. And I promise to actively keep his memory alive for the rest of our lives, even when it's painful, and even when you recall the happiest of memories, like driving top down in his red Porsche for a father-son boat day. Our kids and their kids will know your dad. Over the years, when people have asked me what my favorite thing about you is, my answer is always unequivocally the same. You are the best person I know. People taught the phrase best person I know a lot, but when I say it, I mean it deeply, and as you know very well, I don't say things that I don't mean. You are unencumbered by people's flaws, not because you don't care for them, but because you see the good in everyone. You don't judge people, and you welcome people as they are. You are annoyingly optimistic. From the second you open your eyes in the morning and start poking me because you just can't wait to be together to the time you get in bed and saying that annoying little voice, can we talk a little before you, st before you starfish and take over the whole bed. You have made me into a better version of myself. You are the most caring and overbearing puppy dad to Mason. 
You have taught me to take risks, assume good intent, take better care of myself, and you are the most loving person I know. Relationships are not perfect or easy, but I am so proud of you and how you and I continuously strive to be better versions of ourselves as a couple, as parents to Mason, and as individuals. I use the word strive specifically because I know that as long as we do the hard work like we've been doing the last decade, we can accomplish anything together. Now for the actual vow part. I vow to continue to call you out on your bullshit because you need it sometimes. I vow to welcome your dreams and ideas as my own, always with a little, little healthy debate, of course. I vow to support you as you strive to be the best version of yourself. I vow to tackle the difficult challenges together with kindness. I vow to raise our kids with both of our cultures in mind. And above all else, I vow to always prioritize our relationship above all others. Zach, I love you. First, I would like to say that there are no words in existence that can possibly explain my love and admiration for these two. But I'm going to try. Nikki and Zach have both given me life in different ways, and I can never repay them for being there for me always. Growing up, one of my first conscious memories of life was the warmth and kindness of my sister. And sorry to break it to you, Donna, but Nikki was the first true love of my life. The best gift my sister ever gave to me throughout life was that she never sugarcoated shit with me. She's never been afraid to hammer me back in place and curse my ass out when I need it most. Unselfishly, Nikki has always been there for me no matter what, and for that I can never repay her. What you've done for me does not have to be repeated here, but I want to let you know that you're appreciated and that I'm always thinking of you. And Mason, of course. I love you from this life to the next, and thank you for un unapologetically being yourself and nobody else. And now for the man of the hour, my brother and part-time confidant, Zach. And my consigliere, but who cares? What is there to say about you, Zach? You're the man. You've given me and so many people here love and guidance that is truly priceless. And I want to personally thank you for that. You know what, Zach? I could sit up here and ramble on on all the nice things about you. But as I was writing this, I honestly couldn't think about anybody else but your father. And how much his presence is missed. I know how much Steve meant to you, Jess and Julie. And I want to let you know, brother to brother, that we're always going to keep his spirit and memory alive no matter what. His presence is truly the only thing missing on this day. And I would give up anything in the world to have him here. With that being said, I want to thank Julie and also Stephen for raising such an outstanding person. I love you, Zach, and thank you for being the brother that I never had and the best man for Nikki. Last but not least, I want to share a quote that I love and that resonates with everybody here. And the quote is by no other than my man, Jackie Chan. <laughs> and the quote is this. Family is not whose blood is in you. Family is who you love. And family is who loves you back. Thank you and congratulations. Nikki, I think you know how much I admire you. And your fashion sense. You are one of the most patient people I've ever known and you can really pull off some questionable outfits. You are so generous, loving, graceful, and your meticulous attention to detail is unmatched. Thank you for always forcing me out of my comfort zone because you somehow always know what's best for me. I love you.
Zach, I have absolutely no memory of how or where or when I met you, but I do remember the first time my parents met you. And the first thing they said to me is, Nikki is a very lucky girl. They went on and on about what a good guy he is, and he's such a gentleman, and his mom did a great job. And if you're lucky enough to know Zach and his younger sister, Jessica, you absolutely know Julie did a great job. Zach, I know... Zach, I know the three of us together is a lot to handle, but you better start preparing because we're about to spend the next 25 years together. I don't remember the first time I met Nikki because we were only four years old, but I guess you can say I don't know what life is like without her. For two girls with no sisters, we became that for each other. We don't have 26 years of memories. With each other, we have had lifetimes of memories with each other, full of celebrations, tragedies, and everything in between. We first, met Nick, we first met Zach in high school, and thanks to him, we're having the high school reunion that no one wanted. Uh, are we not all thinking back? <laughs> Zach, I'm so proud of you. I mean, you've made the group chat. Thanks for those daily Mason updates, and thank you for taking Nikki off our hands. Wishing you both a wonderful life together. Welcome to the family, Zach, and I truly, or cheers to a lifetime of memories together. Past nine, ten years of witnessing Zach and Nikki's friendship grow and blossom into a loving relationship has been truly wonderful. The respect and compassion they show each other is evident in their day-to-day -day lives. They are both very motivated and work hard, always available to each other whether it's work-related or not. Some qualities that I love in both Zach and Nikki are their kindness, generosity, they are both deep thinkers, they are inclusive of all friends and family, and they truly want to see others around them happy. During the past years, Nikki has helped Zach get through many experiences that were previously a challenge to Zach. This is one of the most endearing qualities that I love about Nikki. Adding their fur baby, Mason, to their family three years ago has been nothing short of magical. The love and devotion that they shower Mason with is pure joy to watch. They are both wonderful doggy parents and have raised an exceptionally well-trained dog. Many of those close to me know that I've always said it takes a village for just about anything we face in life, the good and the bad. I am fortunate enough to have the most amazing village that has always supported me and been here for me. Nikki and Zach, you are beyond blessed to have so many people who love you and will always be here for you. Thank you, Nikki and Zach, for adding a whole new village to mine, who I know I can always count on. Together, we are a mighty group. Hashtag full dairy, it's not that anything. Please, please join me in raising a glass to toast Nikki and Zach while wishing them a lifetime of love, health, and happiness together. I can't wait to watch your next chapter unfold. When I first met Zach, he was very polite, very quiet and shy. Oh boy, I was wrong. <laughs> man, man, man. Zach is very smart, has unique sense of humor, and make me laugh time to time. And nobody else does, but he does. When uh, Zach and Nikki bought this house, I got much closer to Zach. He didn't know how to use power tools. I had to go there and teach him. You know. Anyhow, we did chandelier, we did uh, many things in that house. My back is still hurting, but what can we do? Uh, Zach, I love you. You know that, right? 
Okay, Zach, I know I never replace your dad. You know that, right? But I would like to let you know that I'm always here for you. You know, you can count on me and I can help you out, whatever, you know, chandelier, this, that, whatever. <laughs> okay, it was uh, a sunny November afternoon when I first meet Nikki. <laughs> you remember that, Nikki? No, you don't. You don't know this. I love Nikki. Nikki, Nima, I love you too, wherever you are. But tonight is Nikki's night, Zach night, so that's why. Right. Okay, your mom and I are so proud of you, Nikki. You know that, right? Berkeley, Zach, Berkeley. You know? Berkeley is number one public university in the world. Berkeley. Anyhow, UCLA is good. <laughs> Anyhow, we are proud of you, Nikki. You know, you have many accomplishments, you know, university, making good money, bought the house, 29 years, and bought the house in Sherman Oaks. Wow. I'm still living in Woodland Hills. Nikki and Zach, I am so proud of you. The partnership between you guys need to be become some kind of YouTube thingy. You know, people learn from it. You, are, you guys are made for each other. I love you both. And at the end, I, I would like to everybody to raise their glasses to Nikki and Zach, congratulations, I love you guys, I'm here for you guys.